Times, Libby here. It was suggested that I do uh, what's in my fridge after I posted a photo on Instagram. So I'm just opening it. It is not cleaned. <laughs> so please don't hold that against me. It needs a good clean. But yeah, I'll just take you through and show you. For those who don't know, I eat a vegan diet. One of my children is vegetarian and my husband and other child are not. So we eat a predominantly vegetarian slash vegan diet. But as you'll see, there is a bit of meat in here. Not a lot, but a little bit for lunches for particularly Kevin, my husband. But I'll um, take you through. I'll just go from the top down since I don't know where to start. <laughs> so in this top basket, I have some vegan dip there that I haven't tried. Rocket, kale rocket and white bean dip. And I just put my hummuses in there, any salsas and the sour creams go in there. The main reason the video was suggested was because of all my food prep that is in here. Uh... So in behind, yeah, there's just some beetroot that's open and a jar of um, shallots that I cut up or spring onions, whatever you want to call them. This is two serves of um, corn quiche for a thing to eat, can of refried beans and some little macaronis and macaroni and cheese for a thing. Uh, overnight oats. Uh, breakfast is one left. There was four in here at one stage. In this thing I keep mostly our sort of my vegan foods, I guess cheeses and stuff, though there is some pastas ended up in there at the moment. So there's another Lex. I've started using a different one that you'll see in a minute, but that's the um, one we've had at one stage. Got some vegan chocolate in here and Kevin bought this spiced pear paste, so I don't know why because we don't really keep any cheeses in the house besides my vegan cheeses. So yeah, I bought these at the um, plant-based markets we went to a few months ago. Same with these um, tree nuts. Tree nuts, oh gosh. Tree nut cheeses. Which are, these are really nice, these sprout and kernel ones. You can get them online from Doorstep Organics as well. It's already the ones I bought at the Plant Based Food Festival. I thought they replacements. Like the uh, fridge is going to be better. Got some honey soy tofu. I like to, although that is not vegan with honey in it, obviously, but I like to keep some of the marinated tofus on hand just in case we want them. I've got bio cheese, which I won't rebuy. Um, so much expired anyway because I've discovered this one and this one's really nice and it melts really nice as well so it's expensive I got it from our local organic shop or the one in Wollongong but yeah it's really good so recommend that one I haven't tried this one I've got this one as well pizza cheese I've got another bio cheese there as, again I do use a bio cheese slices but again now that I've discovered this one at least the bio cheese to dead <laughs> as far as taste goes I think but I said it's probably more expensive. And again, we keep some hard tofu and some silken tofu on hand. And that's another sprouted. I've got to have some of that actually. <laughs> but I'm, I was reminded of doing this video. So in behind here, I've got dog meals made up. This one is awkward doing a video. You can't stop the beeping. Another corn quiche. I don't know why it's separate. I think I'm going to put that one in the freezer. That's um, TVP with taco seasoning. I think I had a wrap yesterday with that on it. I have grapes already washed and taken off the stem. So there's some more of them back there. And then I have some chopped fruit. Uh, melon is in that for Kevin's lunches or for myself for snacks. Super made yesterday. That is a curried split pea soup. The rest is in the freezer. I just kept one out because I'm trying to build up a stock in the freezer of meals. And then this was cauliflower soup that I made for Athena today. And they just add, so whoever has it, just add, add some cheese into it. But I've made that vegan, so if I want to have it, I can. Um, I don't know. Kevin's got some lime soda water back there. And we've got the big bottles of sweet chili sauce and tomato sauce and maple syrup in the back. Hope you can see that okay. Then I've got vegetables prepped for um, doing fajitas tonight with those. All I do is bake them with some taco seasoning on top and put them in a wrap with some sour cream on it and make vegan sour cream for myself. I've got some leftover pasta and this is a couscous salad that I've been having for lunch. Then we tend to have a few like instant meals I keep for Kevin for the days he doesn't have a sandwich and wants a hot meal. So I've got one of those there, and Christy's been um, meal prepping her French toast that she has for breakfast, so that's the rest of her week's supply. Um, some shredded chicken I picked up for Athena, I thought she might want some of that. And there's some lettuce that I washed and 
put into a bag. Usually it goes in the crisper, but as you'll see, the crisper is pretty full. Some apple juice left, some cut watermelon, some eggs. And then down the bottom, there's some mashed potatoes. And again, I did not that was full. I've eaten my way through most of that. And then this has got a corn chowder that I put on top of the mashed potatoes. And this is a leftover corn quiche for Christy to have for dinner tonight. And then in here, I've just got, so I've tried to again use up most of my vegetables for the wet, but I've got some mushrooms, capsicum, snow peas, and cut up broccoli. And this is kind of what's left of my cheese drawer. Again, I don't use a lot of cheese, but I usually have cheese slices and some grated cheese. I'll grate that, I'm gonna grate that block and the spread all cheese. And leftover lint bunny that's Kevin's in the back there. <laughs> and then I've got another lettuce. This is last week's lettuce. Um, I was not going to toss it because I've got the butterless, which I much prefer, but I thought I'd keep it just in case. And probably just a good idea because I've gone through a lot of that butter lettuce, so I might want in that. And some spinach, and there's some um, Lebanese cucumbers in the front. And down here, just got some carrots, some celery, uh, some capsicums that are past every so those, and the mushrooms will be chopped up for the dogs. Um, a little bit of leftover onion and some corn cobs so that's the fridge on the door over here just got a bottle of water um, that came with our organic delivery they come frozen to keep things cold just some jelly meats for Kevin chocolate topping that should be in the other fridge but anyway it's in here at the moment and a little yogurt thing someone which has expired <laughs> so we'll just throw that one out we'll give it to the dogs for their dinner so I've got <laughs> butter soft Another like spider that I use and another block of butter and then I've got the bonsai milk that I like. There's homemade almond milk in behind there and then this is the juice that I like. I water it down. I have it a third strength. We're actually all doing that now. So a <laughs> um, so quarter to a third of juice and then the rest water. Um, a small leftover milk. I only buy the milk for Christy's French toast because she refuses to use the bonsai milk which I think would be fine but she likes to have that so often I buy a smaller carton but that was the smallest I could get this week and then some custard um, don't usually have custard I think I had been having that sort of post-surgery but she seems to have gone off it now so Christy seems to be <laughs> using it now so I've got an Annie's dressing which is vegan I've got that from doorstep organic no sorry I've got that from iHerb and then these are decanted tomato sauce and sweet chili sauce with a barbecue sauce Sweet soy sauce, tamari. Um, then I've got some vegetarian stir fry sauce, teriyaki sauce, of uh, sorry, a vegan Worcestershire sauce. And then there's some, is it, what's it called? Um, is it, I can't think of the word. What is, what is it? Um, well, it's fermented beetroot, but what's, what do they call it? I can't think what they call it. Like a chutney? Is it a chutney? No. Might be like a chutney. I can't think of the name and I can't see it on there. Get we get again this came from the plant based festival. But I can't remember what we what we should serve it with. So I think you can go on anything, a salad or anything, but I'm not quite sure. I know it's supposed to be good fermented foods, it's supposed to be good. And then down here we have another salad dressing that Kevin picked out and hasn't had any of. Honey and honey Dijon. We've gone off, we haven't had salads lately. Um, rest of a tomato paste. <laughs> um, I don't know how to spell it. Cholula hot sauce, which Kevin said was quite nice. And chipotle one, well, it's a bit too hot for me. Um, this is a very nice raspberry jam. Oh, this is strawberry. Oh, I thought this was a raspberry one. It does have sugar in it though, so I don't tend to have this one. The Cutaway Creek, it's a, an Australian brand from over at and the raspberry jam is the best I've ever had. But I usually just have the St. Alpha one because it is just raspberries mayonnaise for people who eat it in this family and we've got a little organ organic garlic paste uh, crushed ginger and then this is sandwich pickles which Kevin has with um, corned beef when he has that and a wasabi which again is I think I don't know Kevin's the one who would have that in this house so that's the fridge um, hope you did find that interesting oh I better put the parcel back in that was in the freezer and then I wanted to have that for dinner. So I'm not sure they're having that tonight or tomorrow night. Kevin and I are having the, the fajitas. So if you want to see the freezers, let me know and I can I'll do that as a separate video. But that's 
the fridge. I forgot to show you what was behind here. I've just got a tin of um, coconut milk because I came across a recipe that a dessert that required chilled coconut milk, but I don't know what it was anymore. <laughs> so it's still sitting there anyway. And some um, miso. That's a really nice one. Again, I got from the organic shop. It was expensive, but it's really good. I shall get that out anyway because I need to make some cashew sour cream.